Brazil has launched its first raids against illegal logging in an effort to protect the Amazon rainforest. The raids come after under Brazil's newly elected president, Lula da Silva, who pledged to restore the environmental protections that his predecessor, former President Bolsonaro, dismantled. Lula was sworn into office for a third time earlier this month after defeating his far-right predecessor in a tight runoff back in October. And during his address to Congress, Lula said one of his goals is to reach zero deforestation in the Amazon. CNN's Rafael Romo has more. They move slowly through the jungle. Their weapons are cocked and loaded. It doesn't take long before they find what they're looking for. Illegal logging has been a challenge in Brazil for decades, but it's gotten worse, experts say, during the last four years. No mais, nós mostramos que o meu governo when President Jair Bolsonaro was in power. The commander in charge of the unit conducting the raid says the previous government only cared about solving emergency situations but lacked strategic planning to really combat deforestation. His team later makes an arrest. In his first speech after taking office on January 1st, current president Luis Inácio Lula da Silva said one of his government's goals is to reach zero deforestation in the Amazon, adding that Brazil doesn't need to get rid of its trees to remain an agricultural powerhouse. After a series of massive wildfires in the Amazon in August of 2019, then President Bolsonaro said his government had zero tolerance not only for crime in general, but also for environmental issues. But that wasn't the case under Bolsonaro. Uh, during his government, his four years in power, we saw deforestation levels increase by 40 percent during that time. And so the challenge for Lula here is going to be enormous. Between 2019 and 2022, the four years Bolsonaro was president, Brazil lost more than 45,000 square kilometers of forests, according to Brazil's National Institute for Space Research, or IMPE. By comparison, when Lula was first in power between 2002 and 2010, deforestation shrank by 65%. The forest, in part, is seen as desirable by loggers and others because not just of the trees themselves, which, of course, they can sell, um, but also because of what happens when the trees go away, uh, principally cattle, pastures, soy, and, and other crops. Back in Pará State, other agents with the Brazilian Environmental Agency destroy an illegal sawmill. Agent Natalia Castro says she's glad they're once again able to act against illegal deforestation and remain committed to the Amazon survival. Protecting it is not only vital for Brazil, but also for the world. According to the World Bank, the Amazon, quote, hosts 40% of the world's remaining rainforest. Rafael Romo, CNN Atlanta.